Okay, we've done the AP trauma skull. Now we're going to switch to the AP Caldwell. Traditionally, as you know, we do our Caldwell's PA upright. However, if we switch to an AP projection, that's going to cause us to have to angle cephalic uh, 15 degrees instead of caudal. And if we can't move the patient, as in any trauma, uh, we need a method to be able to find how many degrees to angle from the OML. So that's what I'll demonstrate here. Um, we'll assume our patient cannot cooperate, and even if they could, they are not to cooperate. So all we're doing is having them hold still. I'm lining up the OML. Uh, I'm using this line here to kind of gauge where the OML is. Now, I don't know how many degrees that is until I look at the uh, x-ray tube up here. So if we angle 15 cephalic from the OML, I can simply use this point as a reference. This is the OML at 20 degrees uh, caudal. So I'm going to take 15 degrees, degrees away from that. Now I have 15 cephalic from the OML. I'm going to center this to my Bucky. And then I can float the tube to ensure that I'm centered at the nasion. And I think we have a little bit of rotation still on our, our mannequin here, but we're not going to worry about that. This is a trauma view. They could always come back later if they need a better view after the collar has been cleared. So you can shield still and take on suspended respiration.